Wagwan people. Good morning. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night. Wherever in the world you may be today, you are on TBRS. You are tuned into TBRS, the Ber- the Berlin. Ra- oh my it's, God, it's I can't talk to do. I can't to do. I cannot talk today. What is happening? <laughs> you are tuned. Let me start that over. <clears throat> Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are in the world. You are tuned in to TBRS, the Berlin Radio Show. You are on the air with Luke in the building. And and wonderful Cassian. Oh, come on now. See, now I I just had to get it right. I just had to get it right. We hope you are all doing so good out there. We're coming to you straight out of Oyun at the beautiful, beautiful culture center right in the heart of Berlin, No Kun. I'm not a No Kun fan, but I, I live in Charlottenburg. I'm a posh, I'm a posh hey. girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a posh girl. And I and it's crazy because I actually work here. And then so like on the way to work, I'm like transitioning from like the poshness of Charlottenburg and then coming to like <laughs> No Kun streets. The, the ghetto. It's ghetto. <laughs> it's not giving what it's supposed to give. But now nah, I love it over here. I love all my No Kuners. Is, is that what you would say? Noikona. Noikona. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Noikonas. Right. It's going to be all jokes today. We have a special guest coming into the studio a little bit later on. But before they come in, you know we have to be dropping you some bangers. And today we actually have a special, special little segment that we um, created actually today. Because that's yeah. what we do. We're innovators, right? We're creators. And we make things new out of old and so on and so forth so we're bringing a new segment on today which is like a submission segment so what we're going to do is to all of the people out there following the berlin radio show exactly we're going to ask you to submit songs for each show and we're going to have a new segment called what is it going to be called maybe fan selection yeah fan selection right like yeah tbrs picks or something. right 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 right. exactly fan picks of tbrs um so we have a list today and shout out to um chesco blaze if you don't know who mm. chesco is chesco is a rapper here in berlin like phenomenal like beautiful voice and wavy he sent a well. wavy wavy he has a new album out called wavy so shout out to chesco and he sent in some tracks um today five of them i think that we will play on the show but if you are out there listening, which you are, <laughs> and you follow the Berlin radio show, that's TBRS on Instagram, send us your artist picks. Like if you heard a song that you're like, this needs to be played on the radio, we don't care what it is, as long as you have it on Spotify, the link on Spotify, then you can send it to us. Um, we only if it's, human. Right, we exactly. We miss some bangers right. from time to time. Exactly, exactly. Cassian always coming in the kitchen with everything cooking, but we might miss some stuff from time to time. So if you hear or know of any artists out there that needs to be heard in Berlin or throughout the world, send us a link to their tracks on Instagram and we will play it on one of our shows. And we will also give you a shout out. So that is your task today for all of the TBRS fans. Now we're going to jump right into it with the first track called Bank Roll from (laughs) Brockhampton, ASAP Rocky and ASAP Ferg. Oh my goodness. Bank Roll. My God. That's what we on in 2022, Mm -hmm. that bank roll, getting that (laughs) shmoney. We were talking earlier, Luke, about like, you know, creativity and kind of uh, making it your main focus and stuff like that. And kind of it's something that I kind of want to move into um, now in the new year. You know, last year was so hectic. This year is becoming even more hectic. And I'm like, maybe my artistry can be like my main source of income. You know what I mean? Not maybe. It will be. What am I? talking about we're on the the berlin radio show where we manifest is it your goal yes it is my goal and it will happen it will happen so if anybody out there listening is a booker or um uh what am i some heat right 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 so any like any bookers um any producers any musicians who wants to collaborate hit your girl cassie and up um i'm ready to be on stage performing doing shows like daily ready and yo i'm a dope artist so yeah. i'm just saying i'm plugging myself on this episode of the berlin radio isn't show it, because uh, isn't it about that as well when it's about like how to yes. survive life and like yes just, like, see your own value plug yourself to other people and right like with the right intention just be like hey 
I actually bring some value. Exactly. Like, and I do. Value, and I know? do. Yeah, I do sure bring do. value everywhere that I go. And also, I, like, the people that I'm trying to have in my space right now also are people who bring value to my life and I bring value to their, li- their life or I hope that I do. Um, and it's all about, like, elevating and moving up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. 100%. Absolutely. We're going to jump into the next track um, called Trophy Wife by BL, I think it's called. Um, shout out again to Chesco for sending in these tracks. I haven't heard them yet. This is going to be my first time. Yeah. So let's see what you get, Chesco. Hey, come on with that track, though. That was cute. All right, Trophy Wife. You know, no, 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 no. Chesco, <laughs> I'm definitely catching your wave right here. <laughs> yes, as we said, Chesco is always wavy in the place. Um, and he's bringing some wavy tracks to us today. So as we said before, we were going to have this new segment now called uh, Fan Selection or whatever. We'll come up with a dope name for it in, um, soon. Maybe in the next break, I'll think of something. I might like, put my um, writer's picks. mind. Right. Oh, I like that. CP, community pick. Picks. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, let's go. Um, so we're here with the community pick <laughs> um, hey. from Chesco. And the next track is called Gliding, hmm. uh, featuring Slow Thai. And it's by Pasaliu. Oh, my God. Chesco, <laughs> what? Just what? I, I just <laughs> butchered the names of these people. Pasaliu. Pasaliu. Pasali, oh my God. Chesco, what you need to do is send me a voice note or a video actually in tag the, t- the Berlin radio show on how to pronounce these names because I'm clearly butchering these artists' names and I apologize to you out there. Um, but the track is called Gliding and it's featuring Slow, Slow Thigh. Thigh. And I think, I think it's Pasayo. Pasayo. Oh, I like that. I like that. And one glide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my what favorite was part. one? <laughs> I was frustrated because I'm always in a rush. Uh, something with the money, yeah. something. I don't know what he said, but that was Dope. lit. <laughs> that track was nice. Again, shout out to Chesco for the community pick tracks. I love that name. Yeah. Thank you for coming mm. up with that on the spot. Now this okay. is going to be a new installment on the the the, the, the. What is wrong with me today? What is wrong with me every day on the TBRS? <laughs> The Berlin Radio Show. Again, shout out to Oyun for helping us to bring this show to its full potential, to life. Like, we are so happy to be a part of this house. Um, to everybody in the cafe, shout out to you. Much love. Make sure you get some of that brunch because it is delicioso. Always on point with the food at Oyun. Always on point with the drinks. Mm-hmm. If you ask them as well, um, well, not everybody knows how to do it, but we have the Berlin Radio Show shots. Yeah. We have specific shots that are tailored for um, our event that happens at the end of every month called Haven. Um, and it's a live performance of all the artists, all the artists, oh my God, all the artists that come in to, um, uh, to be interviewed on the show. Then we have a live performance at the end of the month. That way you can hear about the artist mm-hmm. on the show and then you can see them perform. Today we have a beautiful, amazing artist coming into the studio and I cannot wait until they get here. It's going to be lit for sure. Um, so make sure you stay tuned and um, yeah, get ready for Haven on the 26th of February it's and going to be so beautiful i'm looking forward same it's and always lit yo it's like i never experienced something like this right like right 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 it's such a beautiful being supportive like that right and like just hyping each other up right on the events like bringing the vibes it's the shit and <laughs> you should definitely be part of it the next time yes exactly so if you're out there listening and you've never been to one of the haven events make sure you are tuned in and and listen to when the tickets go live um it's going to be on the 26th of february and we're going to be talking about love and all these kinds of things but the artists that are coming in like they are amazing mm-hmm. on our last show we had blazy so shout out to blazy we love you and we're so ecstatic that you were here with us um yeah we're gonna jump right into our next track and it's um okay. actually a fav- one of my favorite tracks and every time i smoke i put hey. this song on because it is just such a stoner track in a way but then it's also a lover's track but then it's yeah. also like best friend track but then it's also like it's everything it's kind of like catching that contemporary right vibes, lucky like, day a bit of this a little bit of that right 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 right. lucky day did it with this track it's called roll some more so there we go roll some more by lucky day
Oh my God, lucky day with roll some mo. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> like, it was Luke's first time hearing this track. I cannot believe this. This this song has been out for ages. I cannot believe it's your first time I'm hearing be really it. Really quiet the, the rest of the show because <laughs> this just got me reminiscing. Like, oh, like, Lukey! And then when the drums came, it's like tick, 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 right. Tick, and if you're and gonna then hear this a lot beautiful of that. Outro, mm. like with the strings and stuff. Oh, so Chesco, nice. Thanks for enlightening me. <laughs> I, I said it. We can miss out on some bangers. Okay? Right. So this is why we need you, our community, to send us tracks. Because I've n some of these songs on this list I've never heard. And some of these people I don't even know that they existed. And now I'm so happy because Gliding is definitely going to be going on my uh, wavy 2022 our new, new wave 2022 um, uh, playlist on Spotify. So you all can tune into that as well as open. You can check it out. Uh, he has some really dope music in there. And I will be bringing you some new artists that I discovered last year and this year as well. So I, it, it's just such a beautiful thing to be able to kind of bring this music yeah. out. You know, you're so excited about it. I get so excited about music. I don't know how you feel, but... I, every 100%. time I hear something new, I'm like, oh, this is Shit. a big <laughs> And yeah. then you feel like you're the only person that knows about it because it generally is that way when you're in like your group of friends. You're yeah. like, oh, do you know this track? And then they don't know. You're like, what? <laughs> you don't know this track? Oh, my God. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm super excited to be bringing you new, uh, beautiful music from all different kinds of people out there in all different walks of life. And I think music is something that brings us together. Yep. and um i'm so yeah. excited like the berlin radio show is that's what we're trying to do right use music exactly. to bring everybody together bring community bring love you know yeah and just like sometimes just tune into the vibes right like, by the way y'all i just discovered today that luke can sing no yes <laughs> i just discovered this today and it's crazy i was like sir why are you hiding all of this talent from me this is this is not okay. I'm not hiding. Yes, you are. You yeah, are okay, hiding. A bit, a bit. Do not humble yourself. You have a voice. You need to be boldly showing it to the world. I'm telling y'all, if I could have sing, if I could sing, right? Like I'm a rapper, but if I could sing, Luke, let me get a singing voice. You hear me? Nobody can talk to me after that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I should use that. As let me get a singing voice. Nobody can talk to me after that. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> over for y'all. It's over for y'all hoes. It's over. I'm just saying, autumn 2022. Right. You hear that? Autumn 2022. Look out for, what is it going to be called? The Luke album? I don't have a name. It's going to be called Luke. No, no, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, some lucky Luke stuff. <laughs> no, I don't have a name. You don't have it's, a name it's, yet. It's, it's all uh, in the that's so funny it's so funny because like when i write music or when i like create a project or something like that i always work from the name first like i know mm -hmm. the name of the project and then i go okay now i'm gonna tailor music to fit to that name yeah, yeah. which is so crazy i think i work backwards in that sense because i think people generally write music and stuff and then come up with the name from the words of the song but i write a name and then put I, the song to it funnily i'm exactly the same like when yeah I, especially when it's about writing song right but this is just like a project name you know and i just wanted to fit right so like i didn't like I, there's a long ass list with names i came up with but none of them like really fit yet so yeah it's okay gonna be like it's a, it's a process i'm, I'm excited I'm super, super excited to hear Luke's project. I'm super excited for y'all to hear his project. By the way, he has beats on Spotify. Yep. Yes. And where can they find you? Quiet Motion. Quiet mo Ooh, Quiet Motion. See, can, all of this, I'm just, I've known you for steps. how long? Like see? See, two, three steps. years now. <laughs> and I'm just finding all of this out. You're just moving in silence, aren't <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. One day people will be like, oh, okay. Right, He's right, right, right. For ages. Right. So there you have it, y'all. Luke is a uh, quiet motion on yeah. spotify so go and follow that and you can follow me as well it's cassian c-a-x-x-i-a-n-n-e -N -N -E. yeah we've got to plug ourselves too the artist 100%. is going to come they're going to plug themselves themselves um yeah you can find me on um uh, spotify all of the streaming platforms my my music is dope yeah. i think my music is dope 100%. i think and you'll vibe with it it's a turn up 
<laughs> turn up all the it's time. A, it's, <laughs> a turn, it's a turn up. If you but listen also, to the songs, you're going get, to get turned. Get turned. But also, I have some tracks that are very um, in tuned with mm -hmm. like, um, you know, things that are happening in the world, um, political things. And yeah, so it's, it kind of it goes from one direction to the next. My music, just like how me, I go from one yeah. direction to the next. I'm not like a, a one tracked individual and multifaceted. And I think I bring that out in my music, too. So person. Yeah, Some, man. Somebody said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an octa person. Right. Uh, OK, so we're going to jump into the next track again. Another recommendation from Chesco Blaze. If you don't know who that is, it's uh, he is a rapper here in Berlin. His mm -hmm. um, artist name is spelled C-E-S-C-O. So Chesco B-L-Z Blaze. All right, let's go. So the next track is called You Got Me by The Roots. Stop it, Quest Love. Stop the show off. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh just so so good. Yeah, like this crazy. list, this playlist is really phenomenal. Um, or these selections, these community picks are really mm -hmm. phenomenal. We only have one more for you, unfortunately. But then we get into the kitchen. What's cooking? Mm, the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> uh yeah so this track is called oh jesus now it's called authentic by tammy atq um but we don't oh oh no 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 that's not the next one sorry actually we're getting into the kitchen now what am i talking about let's go what's cooking in the kitchen it's hot it's spicy finger licking good <laughs> that always gets me that always the the, the yeah. finger licking oh that's so gross i i hate asmr so much yeah. but then i was like let me just do it for the what's cooking segment Definitely. and now we have it and i have to listen to it every single time we come on the show and but it's, it's been so used before you know now it's a now it's a trend and everybody's like oh i hate this asmr oh, i love this asmr oh i but like, hate it's been it used before. It's right like, you know in the cinema when you've been sitting like in this advertising yeah and there's like in germany there's like this langnese ice cream langnese ice cream oh ooh, i hate no, it <laughs> <in Kino. laughs> that kind of stuff you know like so people been known yeah. about the effects of asmr and it's like that it's is just triggering so and tingling and what the fuck now right that is so so funny yo uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this is just uh, no. I I really can't stand ASMR. I find it's such a huge trend, but I I cannot stand it. Um, I tried it, but I tried it to go into bat ones. I have to say, quite fair, like because I'm also like a sound engineer. Maybe right. this just triggers me in a different way. But right. like I was passed out by like. 30 seconds of somebody what, like which one did you play i don't know some random shit on the <laughs> internet you know like but it was just some person like being like in a glass in front of a glass and yeah mics being like yeah that kind of stuff God, and like scratching the mic me. and i was like i was gone like yeah you know what sounds like make me cringe so hard there's like <laughs> like um for fenty rihanna like the the, the fenty beauty line mm -hmm. they do some um videos that are like it i like watching the videos because it's just something going in a loop right yeah. and that's very beautiful and i'm like oh this is so cool but then the sounds are what get me and then it's like a bottle squirting cream out and it's like oh, shit. oh i hate it so much <laughs> If you yeah. like ASMR, shout out to you because I don't know how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it at all. Like, it's so funny. Uh, but we're going to jump into the first track of What's Cooking with Cass. And it's um, called 4K and it's by Duckworth and Fabo. And this track is lit. <laughs> Who do it better than THF Radio, than TBRS? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody do it better. Oh my God, okay. Nobody gets you wetter. <laughs> nobody, <laughs> <laughs> nobody gets you wetter Who than gets TBRS. You wetter? Who gets you wetter? Who gets you wetter? <laughs> nobody, baby. Hey. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, shout out to Duckworth and Fabo for that banger. It's called 4K. You know, we always get in the in the kitchen with Cass, and you know, I'm mm -hmm. always bringing you new tracks from, I mean, even though some of them are not new artists, they're old artists, but sometimes some of you haven't heard it before. 
So now we're bringing all of this great music to you. Mm -hmm. And again, we just want to br give a huge shout out to uh, Oyun um, for having us in house. We're coming straight out of the podcast room, aka our radio yeah. station. <laughs> And um, we have Straight a beautiful guest basement. coming into the building soon. So if you don't follow the Berlin Radio Show, go ahead and click that follow button on Instagram and you will get to see from our stories what's happening in the studio um, and who which artist is going to be coming on the show. So go ahead and hit that follow button, as I said before. But Luke, mm -hmm. Luke, what are your plans for 2022? My plans for 2022? Yeah. <laughs> just uh spending all of my time on music and right. what i would really love to do without the without like being caught in any structure that i have to fulfill mm. to get like to keep my life going right that's kind of like what i'm what i'm aiming for right to be s self sufficient just from making music yeah and everything in the realm of music like the radio show and stuff like that right that's like my number one goal i hear that i feel the exact same like you know just trying to push everything forward and it's so difficult um but i think having a good the team <laughs> having a good theme <laughs> also theme, a good also theme, a good yeah. theme also also what is wrong <laughs> with me oh my <laughs> god yo Y'all, I need some um, English lessons because clearly I don't know how to speak need English. <laughs> I need some milk. <laughs> 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 I think that's what it is because I yeah. haven't, since I came to Germany, I have not been drinking cow's milk. Oh, I've been well. drinking only oat, oat and soy and that's when my <laughs> language started to mess up. Okay, I need some milk. <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, but yeah, so um, yeah, yours? like in terms of um, music, like I'm really planning to um to kind of make it like you know my mainstream of income to go full force i feel like um my artistry is really getting to a space where i am one with it and mm -hmm. it is one with me and i feel oh, like beautiful. people are also finding me finding my music and we are like i love people from afar <laughs> um and i like to make music for um people and i think not everybody also vibes but with my music up. but it, mm, huh but close up but close up yeah <laughs> from afar but close up um but yeah like you know moving into this new kind of stage in life and um, it's been a beautiful journey thus far and i one thing i want to manifest and i've been speaking on it like speaking to the universe speaking to ancestry is like having a good team of people and i think we're finding that slowly with mm -hmm. tbrs and then so it's now about like bringing it forward into my music as well and finding the right team of people for my music um and i'm so grateful to one pr one person as well that i want to give a huge shout out to is kayo hey. who just so happened to like by chance end up in my life and he is um doing the video work for tbrs he's been doing a lot of video work for me if you want to have video work done you can hire him just message the berlin radio show he is a phenomenal videographer um and it, his work is so amazing i'm so happy to have him as a part of this the berlin radio show team and 100%. then also to be doing work, you know, for Cassie and the artist. And um, yeah, and he's in studio with us to this poor baby. His neck is like, bro he's not broken, but like is hurt. And I just want to give him hugs. But, uh, you know, um, that will hurt. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, so we're going to jump into the next track and we're going to continue this conversation after. Um, and this track I found by chance. And these music, this like musician. I will ask myself in like three years three keys right no, right, no, right. No, no, the, the quest the, the song name sounds like a question i would ask myself in like three years oh like, right why, right why, why you in it right here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly so the track is called why you in la and it's by um a group or I don't, I don't even know if they're a group or if it's just a person but it's called they're called uh keys open doors and i love that amazing. i love that it's like the name is amazing and the song is so dope and it, i found it like just randomly on spotify and i was so excited i was like Ooh, this is a banger so now i'm bringing it to you and i hope you enjoy it's called why you in la by keys open doors Woo, yeah we are stressing what is happening in the building here today but i have as i said i've been speaking like 
I don't know. I don't know where where my English is going I or ha- what's happening to me today. I'm just like, whoa. What's happening? Right, exactly. <laughs> but we have a beautiful, amazing, phenomenal individual in the building. And we are so excited to bring them on to the show. But we can't tell you who it is yet. But what you do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so there you go. That beautiful individual will be coming on soon, talking about who they are as an artist and I am so, so, so excited to dive deep. Um, mm-hmm. But before that, we're going to jump into the next track, which is Lotto by Tia Kareen. And this track is another banger. By the way, the song you just heard is called Ain't Gonna Stop Me by Reggie, Monty Booker, and Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats is a phenomenal producer, and I cannot mm-hmm. wait to work with him. And I'm going to say that point blank, period. I'm going to be in Kenny Beats' studio and we're gonna the, do a track, the the, the 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 YouTube live session yes. thing with the freestyle. Yeah, yes. yeah, okay. I, I mean, I'm not gonna that. freestyle. I'm gonna write something, but <laughs> yeah, that's what they call freestyle. Sometimes. Well, yeah, sometimes true. Sometimes, sometimes they re- they like, write it first. And it's like freestyle, and it's like, right? Bro, if you it's if things you I've came been up writing. with that off the top of your dome, then right? You're, then you're just like ill, crazy, you know, like madness. So, yeah. So, so like, yeah. So I will be writing in the studio with Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats is phenomenal. I love his personality. I yeah. love the sh- the um the YouTube live sessions that he does. I think they are amazing. My favorite one, I think, would have had to be the one with Isaiah Rashad. Right, that, that shit went dope. so hard. Um. So I'm super excited to be working with Kenny Beats because I'm gonna speak it to be working with Kenny Beats because that's what we do on the Berlin Radio Show is manifest our dreams. So shout out to Kenny. Shout out to Kenny. <laughs> so uh yes, yeah, so let's get into the next track. It's called Lotto by Tia Kareen. Come on. That was Lotto by mm-hmm. Tia Kareen. Mm-hmm. That is a vibe, eh? Ah, uh, don't beat give a, a fuck. I beat, beat a, a bitch up. up. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. Yo, it's so so exciting. Um, yeah, man, there's just so much happening in life in the world right now. And um, like I read something the other day, like I want to talk about technology. <laughs> All right. I think technology is changing and maybe not for the better, <laughs> for the worse, I think. Mm. How do you feel about that, Luke? Oh, that's always a hard topic because it's really general now and I don't know what we're talking about, but I, I generally like development and right. uh, like going forward with stuff. And uh, right. with all of this stuff, it's a bit obviously... you. From like a perspective, you see what mm-hmm. might change to a negative way, but I'm like looking for the positive options, right? In it because like it gives us so much mobility. Like mm-hmm. the way we're living today is crazy, and right. we're all so used to it. And people like a hundred years back would have called us crazy for doing exactly that. They're like, "Oh, get away from your smartphone!" Right? And this exactly. And that. But it enables me personally to mm-hmm. do so much. Right. Then I'm like. Maybe you're right, but mm. I don't give a shit. Right. <laughs> and that's kind of how I try to view it for future generations because I think we should have the faith in that they can, they understand how to deal with it the same right. way I understood what to do with my Instagram account and whatnot. Right, right. For me, it's like, um, I feel like technology Im- is moving in such a way that we won't be connected as humans anymore. I feel like, um, you know, because they're creating, for example, the metaverse and um, all these different aspects that people are buying land in the metaverse. And, you know, like I think Gucci bought land in yeah, the metaverse yeah. and, and all of these. And it's like, what? what? So the, basically what they're trying to do is take everything from reality and put it in this space. And it's like, OK, so in a few years, are we even going to be connected as human beings anymore? Like, is everything going to be d- digitalized? Is everything going to be just easy and quick and simple, which already it is. Everything is literally at the touch of a button. You can have it, you know, and I feel for me personally, I don't get me wrong. I like the idea of technology. I like the idea of um, enhancing the human experience and enhancing mm-hmm. life with technology. But at the same time, it's like I feel like there's going to be a huge disconnect in the future. Like right now, it's already crazy. Yeah. We're on our f- we're with our friends hanging out. Everybody's already, on their phone. Like, we're already Elon, like Elon Musk said that once. Right we're already in the metaverse. Like, right, already, like you have your smartphone. It's right, like extension to your brain. He, I think he said that on Joe Rogan, if I'm not mistaken. Right. Oh God, let's not let's not yeah, mention yeah. Joe Rogan. But that's another story for another day. Because, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, like as you said, you I know. S- 
I see it from like I I see your points, and definitely there will be a disconnection, especially to like the physical world we see it in. But then on the other hand, it's like we as people the way the way we develop, we've been moving from like physical sensation and like survival more into like our mental capacities. Right. And I think that's just a um, kind of a natural move to like do all that stuff because like when you're in the metaverse, like the physical limitations don't really like matter that much it's more about what you think who you are what you say what your brain is like is it though it's like the thinking apparatus right. is like getting used to like we so to say capitalize on that we are able to think more and more and like over mm. and i think it's a natural kind of like development because that's just what makes the modern society we are able to think and we share information but the thing is are we though because i feel like also even though we think that we have free will we don't you know like everything that around us everything that surrounds us is what tailors our thinking and so like you have all of these things now that we're going that's going more into the technological world so this is going to be able to kind of hack the human experience and tailor our thinking even more you exactly. know what i mean like you, you know we have our smartphones already listening to us yeah. i always i always <laughs> every time every time i'm doing something right um i always like the fbi agent that's watching me right now <laughs> i need you to send me this or whatever because yeah. like literally you're talking about something and then it like magically appears all of a sudden on your timeline mm. or whatever it's crazy and i'm just like I, I don't even care at this point i don't care whatever you've been listening to me for yeah. how many years now with this damn cell phone so like i don't i don't care at this point but at the same time it's kind of like um okay what else is yeah. going to happen, you know? And then I saw something that was talking about <laughs> like with the vaccinations that they're going to be able to kind of like navigate the human experience. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I mean, I love to watch conspiracy theory things, but yeah. like I'm not a conspiracy theorist, you know? And um, so hearing these... theorist says. <laughs> that I'm <letting> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so then just, like just the... Uh, no, no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so then the, this uh, person was talking about the vaccination and how um it's going to like m mess with the human dna not in like a uh, a kind of kill you kind of way but yeah. in a way that it like help it like helps to put you more into the technological aspect of things being able to tailor your way of thinking more and all of these things and i'm like i resist yeah. in the name of my ancestors i resist yeah. it's like <laughs> some uh, that's a, the ball let's not get it get into this like honestly <laughs> yeah. like, right 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 I've been so, I, I think everybody was like thinking so much about this topic that right. everybody has like a super deep opinion by now about it yeah so, like, yeah I, I like this this uh, is hilarious to me it's hilarious i'm just ready for like the zombie apocalypse to happen yeah, 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 and yeah. i'm just like okay what do i need to do i'm working out in the gym like, yeah, like, for the like i'm just like years, zombie apocalypse like, i'm ready That's, i am legend kind of yeah feels. right <laughs> Like, that's literally what i feel like i don't have a dog right i'm gonna die <laughs> <laughs> exactly but as i said so we we're gonna move into the interview aspect of the friendly radio show but before we get into that we have one more track in the kitchen with cassian and it's one of my favorite tracks because it has one of my favorite artists actually two of what my favorite said? artists it's called What You Said, yeah. It's uh, two of my favorite artists right now, Isaiah Rashad and Dochi. Dochi is on levels you do not even understand, okay? And Isaiah Rashad just been that nigga. Like, he's just been that dude, like, since day one. He released the album, like, seven years ago. And then didn't release the album. And that album blew up. And then he wasn't saying anything to anybody. Not making any type of music. Nothing. And then everybody's like, where's the next album? Where's it?" The? And then he dropped this album, um, The House Is Burned. The House Is Burning. Yeah. The house is burning. And it just blew my entire mind. And mm. this track, What You Said, is one of my favorite tracks off of this album. It's um, with Isaiah Rashad, Dochi, and Kyle Banks. And I'm so excited to be playing this for y'all. But before we get into it, can you say hi? Hi. Ooh, yes. Let's go. What you said. <laughs> Down to fight anything straight out the dough. You can't tell me that track is not a banger right yeah you hear that voice hi do y'all hear that voice do you, know? do you, do you know? hear that voice Am I, I can be a little bit louder if you like <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> <laughs> asmr from here on ASMR? out <laughs> you were talking about that earlier oh my gosh that's, like, that's like, oh can i swear yes yeah. okay thank god because i'm a sailor 
when yeah, it comes same. to that shit. Same, like, actually. Like, hanging out with my grandma is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to grandma. Shout out to grandma. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I'm going to introduce this artist that I have sitting next to me. This phenomenal, beautiful human being that i have sitting next to me um just a little bit just a short little intro and then i'm gonna let them tell you more about who they are and i and then the reason why i want to read this intro is because yeah it's because i found it to be very very just like spot on to who they are as an artist um but i feel like i don't want to read too much because i want you to tell people about it so i'm gonna think about it as we play the intro song (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love how gagged you are at that. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> so this is how you know, like you're being introduced to TBRS, right? Like you are being introduced today and I love it. Great. <laughs> I love it. So actually, I feel like I don't want to tell. I have your bio here. Okay. But I don't want to tell people about it because I want you to tell them. And I think it's very beautiful. So I'm just going to say we have in the building with us. Actually, introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm Gozi. Hey, (laughs) yes. This is Gozi Uh, in the building. In case you didn't know, this person is just a phenomenal musician, like performer. I got the opportunity to see them perform at an event that I performed at. And I was like, lit. I was gagged, really. Thank you so much. You are phenomenal on stage and you deserve everything. Um, So all of the people sitting in the cafe listening to us right now, please go on to Instagram and follow Gozi because you will not want to, you will not want to miss out on Gozi's journey in music. Trust and believe. And it's G-O-Z-I. So go follow right now. And everybody out there listening, turn on your Instagram pages and go follow Gozi. Gozi forever. Gozi forever. Yes forever and ever and i will never die amen um, to that and also touch wood <laughs> <laughs> so please gozi can you tell us a little bit about yourself hi yeah i'm gozi i'm a singer songwriter and producer i'm originally from london but i, I relocated to berlin because uh, fuck london um, <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah i mean it's interesting because like there's there's the artist bio which is like a very right like structured yeah sensible way of explaining to people and and also funding organizations (laughs) what i do and why i do it right um but to sort of like narrow things down i'm trying to make the future of pop music right i want to be making pop music that sounds like you know in the next decade Mm. it will be normal and right now it's crazy and futuristic Mm, love it we're gonna get into that later i don't want you to reveal too much right now so what we do with every artist that comes onto the show is we ask them a question what is one thing that made you laugh really hard or out loud this week and what is one thing that made you really sad this week okay this past week um so i i shot a music video like two days ago uh, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah yeah and it's like the it's my second video it's the biggest project i've ever done it's like a 30 person team oh shit uh which yeah it's for little old me for like <laughs> for like a thing that i'm uh, like a song that i made in my bedroom by myself like a year mm. ago and uh yeah it's been a crazy like month and a half of like pre- prep and like styling and choreo and makeup and just like a lot of like really out of my comfort zone things and then we shot on friday and it just it went so fucking good yes it was unreal it was it was mind-blowing and so i've woken up every morning since and just like began laughing maniacally (laughs) like every morning just like we did it yes oh that's so So, exciting i could really see the joy um, in your face now but also yeah. like when um, you were on set like I could see like how you know you were like oh my gosh my dream is being realized yeah. in this moment and that's such a beautiful thing wow yeah. Yeah, 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 gorgeous and sorry to go to the bad side we should ask answer always the sad one first but yeah. what's something that made you sad this week <laughs> <laughs> nice try you can't bring me down today. <laughs> um no nothing nothing at all I, I i i got everything i could possibly wish for i'll right. tell you next week if something sad happens okay um, but right now we are gravy i love it yeah. i love we love to hear it <laughs> um 
so I like as a musician, you know, or as as a fellow musician, I feel like a lot yeah. of people start off doing music like when they're really really young. Oh, yeah. um, but I realized like a lot of people recently have been coming into music very late in life, and mm-hmm. not because they they didn't love music or they didn't want to do it, but because of the way that they grew up and so on and so forth, yeah. like their their lives just would not allow it. So how like um, how long has music been a part of your life? Uh, actually, a really long time. I started. I so I started off playing classical guitar when mm-hmm. I was like 11 years old mm-hmm. and so I started writing songs about that time and then I started producing when I was 13 um beautiful and yeah I was self-taught basically until I was like 19 and then I moved to Berlin when I was 22 and to take a degree in electronic music production and that's kind of when things yeah. started to really come together in the project but I've been yeah over a decade I've been making music for nice that's so beautiful i love that you're like i played guitar when i was 11 yeah yeah and i started producing when i was 13 (laughs) yeah (laughs) i love it i love it i think that's something to really be proud of and i think like it really shows in your music and um yeah it's they're gonna get to the listeners are gonna get to hear a little bit of that a little bit later on um but that's beautiful and so what is your process of like making music like, like writing the writing process to the production process yeah. to being like, okay, this is a song that I want to put out into the world. Um, things have changed a little bit recently. So I, I quit my job about congratulations. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you. One of the best decisions that I've ever made because Jesus, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> uh, so I started making music full time about a year ago and my process changed enormously at that point. I just, I started making music all the time. So like whenever I have an idea, I would be at home near my laptop and I could just make it happen right. rather than having an idea and like being behind a bar and like trying to record it into my phone and like, I'll listen to this at some point. This won't make me cringe in 20 minutes <laughs> um, and just like losing so much stuff. So very often it would, it, yeah, it's just me in my bedroom and like I an idea will pop into my head normally for like production and or I'll find a sound that I like Mm. sometimes I mean most recently I've made like four tracks around one sound trying to create the perfect environment for this sound that I'm obsessed with right took four goes to get there um, (laughs) but the resulting track is a banger now so yeah yeah that's beautiful um and then like I find I find like um when people are talking about their writing process right it's so different for everybody um we have some people who listen to a beat and then they write or some people Mm. who write and then the the beat comes or some people who do melodies like hum and then Mm -hmm. then something comes like what is that like for like what is your process in that what is your way of of tailoring the music for for gozi um so it's always I, it, I I'm I'm wearing a lot of different hats and right. changing hats. I, so currently I'm working almost exclusively by myself mm. um, for the first time in a long time. I think my, just my skill set peaked. Yeah. Or like finally just like all, everything came together at the same time about November of 2020. Mm. Um, and so I will I'll make a beat first, and while I'm making the beat, like I'll generally make the entire structure and arrangement in one go, mm-hmm. and then yeah hop on a mic improvise or sometimes a melody will come into my head or sometimes i'll just take the beat and just like walk around with it for a couple of days until like a melody sticks in my head Mm -hmm. record a mumble vocal and then yeah write the lyrics out and then come back and do the vocals and i love layering vocals so very often like the vocals then become part of the instrumental Mm. and so like i then go back into producer mode once i've like finished recording the vocals because then it's it's a whole different beat right with like like you know 10 part harmony right. like a whole new <laughs> instrument and they have to clean out a bunch of other stuff to make it sound good but right yeah it's generally so you have like a the communication with yourself is like punch me in again that this and that oh yeah bar yeah yeah, yeah. i did the, the nice thing about working alone is that no one can see how crazy my process is it's <laughs> a lot of like me just like going eh. <laughs> <laughs> and pressing a button and going, <laughs> <laughs> like i feel really sorry for any roommates who live next door to me because like, like me recording vocals is like a full like seven hours of me just like 
over and over and over and over and over again and making the craziest mm -hmm. noises and every time i fuck up it's like yeah start again from the beginning start again but also i'm i i don't know i think fuck ups are funny yeah it's like you're like it's being on stage if you like you miss a note like it's right. funny to like call it out right and be like lol like, i right. missed that note right, right i right, hit right. that note but fuck a stupid hoe right nikki style right, um, right. <laughs> <laughs> um right. so yeah but so my computer is just full of right. recordings of me saying stupid shit after i love that you said that because i feel like um you know, some people, people out there are perfectionists, you know, mm -hmm. and if something doesn't sound right or it doesn't go right, then it's like all hell breaks loose. Yeah. But I'm such an unperfectionist person. So mm -hmm. even in a lot of my tracks, there are mistakes where I say the word wrong because you hear me on here speak in English and it's just not right. So then, <laughs> <laughs> so there are times where I make mistakes, but I'm just like, we're human and I want to keep the human aspect of music in my music. Yeah the human aspect of creation into my music. And so I try not to make it like perfect. And I yeah, love that you said yeah. that when you fuck up, you call it out and just be like, lol. Yeah, call it out. <laughs> and I think it's, like, yeah. Keep going. Right, like, right, right. Keep going because like, yeah, it's the same as like being on stage. Like the gold really comes from when you're just like, clear on your skill set and mm -hmm. you go on autopilot and you right. can trust yourself to catch yourself when you're falling right. and you might do something that you never even dreamed of doing right. in this situation that right. could turn out to be the the core of mm -hmm. like uh, very often I, I'll, I'll be recording like a chorus or something and I'll run out of like melody or lyric and I'll mm -hmm. start improvising and that will become my favorite part of the song, of the song. and it will be like a section that yeah. just like popped into my dome because right. I forgot to breathe or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all valuable. Yeah. It's really valuable. Beautiful. That's that's gorgeous. I love that. So thank you for sharing that with yeah. us and letting us know that we're all human. We make mistakes. Yeah. And um, even though your music is beautiful and perfect, that it takes the imperfect process to create this perfect yeah it just, it just looks perfect right you should you should see the demos <laughs> on my laptop. Wow. <laughs> they tell a whole right. different story. <laughs> So um, you are an independent artist and yes, um, yeah. and I just wanted to kind of like touch on what that process is like for you being an independent artist, pushing yeah. your own music, pushing your own things. Like, how is that for you? <laughs> I, I have to be honest because I, I am surrounded by independent musicians. Right. And I think it's a really beautiful and admirable thing. And I really support it. Right. I fucking hate it. Ooh. I hate it so much. Someone get me a label, someone get me a manager, someone get me a stylist, someone get me a team. So I can just make music. Right. <laughs> and um, people who really know what they're doing right. can do their jobs because mm, right. I, 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 it really, it takes a, a lot, lot of the of joy out of it for me, you know, mm. and I do a lot for this project, you know, right. like everything you hear is me. Right. Um, and I'm very clear on who I am as an artist. And so I'm doing a lot of work to like manage this, what I hope is a pretty original and new concept for an artist mm. to then also be like managing my facebook ads mm, instagram i don't care <laughs> i don't care like i don't so like <laughs> like i yeah i just i just got to the point where i'm like forcing myself to post on instagram right. like i have to do it because it's my job but like right. more than that i'm i yeah i don't want to be doing this for much longer right i Dropping hear you yeah. so you you uh. definitely want to go on to a label oh yeah okay. yeah, 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 yeah yeah i'm uh i'm uh, so I've made a record yeah, and I'm going to self-release it on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. And the aim is to just sort of like press, like push it on social media to the point where like a label will pick it up, pick it up and re-release it right. like formally. Because mm -hmm. also like things like Spotify are just, they're horrible for new artists. Right. Like, they're not designed for like artist discovery. Mm -hmm. Like I think 10,000 hours of audio get uploaded to Spotify every single day. And it mm -hmm. just, it just vanishes onto the platform. Right. Um, so until I have like people whose job it is <laughs> to talk to Spotify and make sure that work goes there, there's no right. point me even uploading it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Bun Spotify. <laughs> for now <laughs> for now right. since, since we figured like since we figure it out on how to deal with it mm. I, I agree a lot like this is the same question i've been asking myself yeah like and there's no really way out of it but I, i'm, get, I'm getting yeah, inspired right? by yeah. the soundcloud plus Bandcamp release kind of stuff because yeah. that's, a, that's a good way to do it like, also yeah. they're both platforms yeah. that are designed for, for new artists yeah like, like yeah. and they have their own 
audiences who are looking for new music. The right. algorithms are designed around getting that new music to people who are interested in it. Right. That's not what Spotify is. Spotify yeah. is an attempt to like monopolize on the Napster mm-hmm. model. I, you know, I'm not going to get nerdy about this. <laughs> I'm going to pull back. <laughs> Please pull back, get nerdy. Back. We need to know all sides of Gozi. Well, yeah. I, oh, I'm, I, yeah. So just heads up. I'm incredibly nerdy. <laughs> <We love laughs> I'm it. like we really, really nerdy. I'm, I'm a huge nerd as well. It just doesn't yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, of course. If you wear, you wear nice clothes and you, you do a nice face and no one knows <laughs> that you spend all of your time being like, in 2003, <laughs> some students developed some software so they could send files to each other and it destroyed the music industry. <laughs> <laughs> right psych right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness but i i love that we are touching on this topic of like releasing your music you know on um onto um, Bandcamp and yeah. soundcloud so now you know that you know where to find gozi's music yeah. is not on spotify but on Bandcamp and soundcloud so that you can invest in them as an artist and invest in their music and really try to find it and and um yeah and and build up your fan base through that and yeah. then i i feel you i hear you, Thank you. i personally do not want a label because i don't like to be controlled by people and i don't yeah, want people totally. telling me what to do with my music or my sound yeah. or whatever but i feel you and i hear you and i feel like the way you are going and your sound mm. is definitely like pop as you said pop yeah, and it's yeah. something that is needed and necessary in the industry yeah. um so you will get you will get that label one thing we do Thank here you. on yeah. tbrs is we speak yeah. t- things into existence yeah. So and we already. always say right we always say you got to speak here like you have it already yeah so yeah. yeah your label will be doing you good and we're gonna say that they will allow you to make the music that you want to make and yeah, yeah. um that you'll be the artist that you want to be yeah that's the label fav- that you will have do you have a favorite label like is there like a candidate where you're like okay i want, I want I to go there be because that. like Right. Yeah. This and that artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, there are two different. It? There are two different routes for me. Um, I've yeah, I've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, I'm a big fan of the Beggars Group. Um, they're the biggest like independent conglomerate of um, independent labels outside of the big four. Right. So it's XL, Four um, AD, Rough Trade, mm. um, lots of just like really incredible um, alternative mm-hmm. labels. But I mean, XL also have some like really huge artists like yeah, Adele right. and Arca. And, right. Um, so yeah, XL would be a dream. Mm. And also just recently out of the big four, um, Columbia have been doing some really great stuff and they've right. been giving people a lot of like serious creative freedom and it's yeah. why they're succeeding so well. Like right. they're one of the big four, but like they're letting people, like same Lil Nas thing, X yeah, is on Columbia. Yeah, to Russ. Yeah. With the 50-50 deal with Russ. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many mm. years back but yeah yeah they're yeah. really embracing that like and seeing where like more spotlight goes to the artists mm-hmm. right yeah and okay. it's really working for them like i yeah. think actually they're starting to realize that like the more creative freedom you get get like as long as they have like a relatively well-developed artist from the beginning the mm-hmm. more freedom that you give the people uh, in this day and age mm-hmm. like the more success you get out of it right so actually columbia kudos is, is my Top choice. Top choice. Columbia, Top choice. you yeah. heard it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, Gozi. Gozi forever on Instagram. Yeah. Let's go. Come get it. <laughs> it's worth don't, it. Don't put no shit deals on the table. Right. Like, make it a really good one. Right. Oh, I mean, you can try, but I'm going to read them and I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We love it. We love it. Um, if you weren't doing music, what would you be doing, you think? Um, ooh. Okay, so like I... I've been like pretty creative since I was like really young and like both of my parents are artists. My mom's a novelist and my dad's a sculptor. So like I I kind of made my way through all of the creative arts before settling on music and was like, oh, this is what suits my desires the most. But if I wasn't doing music, I'd probably be doing acting. Mm, Um, We love love it. Yeah. I love the performance aspect of it. I love performance. Like I'm, I was a performer before I was a musician. Musician right. just like matched my performance. Music matched my performance needs mm-hmm. more than anything else. I think acting, you don't write your own scripts. You're very often mm-hmm. reliant on other people's narratives and worlds. Mm-hmm. So, it, um, but as a craft, if I didn't have music, I yeah, I definitely I can see that. Yeah, and I might, I might, I do kind that. of still yeah. wanna. I still wanna. I think I'm gonna do like a like, yeah. No, we're speaking this into existence. So right. I'm gonna do a couple of records. Yeah. And then take a hiatus and do some, some movies acting. for a while. Ooh, yeah, we yeah. love to hear it. 
Hey, yes, yes, ancestors, yeah. the ancestors yeah. of Gozi. We are calling this down. Yeah, if uh, if Sam Levinson is looking <laughs> for Euphoria season three, right? I am available. I was gonna say, <laughs> was gonna say you would definitely fit I'll into Euphoria. Crush Euphoria? Are you kidding you me? You totally <laughs> would. Absolutely, they need your character. They need yeah. a character like you with your personality on that show. So, <laughs> listen, okay, Gozi. Um, the next question that I have for you is like, um, in what way do you think or do you aim to make a difference with your music or do you aim to make a difference at all with your oh, music? Oh, absolutely. Right. Um, I'm a huge fan of representation. I think it's, it's crucial. Um, and there's a, there's a, ser- a, a theory. I can't, I honestly, I can't remember the name of the theory. Mm-hmm. It's a really good one. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll Google it and t- tell you later. Yeah. Um, but it's After this idea chat. that if you don't see yourself or people like you represented in media, then you don't exist. Mm. And, you know, there's no, because there's no uh, template for you being, and you only ever see people who aren't like you, then you start to believe that you don't exist or you're not valid. Right. Um, And I think the only way to combat that is by flooding Mm -hmm. the market with examples of every possible identity. Like whoever you are, whatever you do, you need to get out there so that people like you know that you are valid right. and that you're real and that you're okay and you're fucking awesome, actually. Mm-hmm. And that's the only way that like culture and society moves forward is by empowering every voiceless person right. or every silent person right. um, by stepping into your power. So that, yeah, and I want to do that with my work. Beautiful. So, Kayo, um, this is one part we're going to have on the reels, just so you know. Okay, okay, good. So, mark <laughs> this point right now because we got to have this out there. All right. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Thank you for even bringing that, like, uh, those words to this moment right now. I think it's definitely something that needs to be heard. Um, and we're going to just take a break right here and go into. A song of Gozi's. <laughs> yeah. And this is a song that is not yet released, no. but I would love for you to tell us a little bit about the writing process of this track. Yeah, yeah, sure. Before uh, we before we play it for the audience. So this one was like kind of like slap bang in the middle of the the record writing. It's it's a mixtape. We're calling it a mixtape because I don't have a label yet. Mm -hmm. It's 10 tracks. It's technically an album, but it's a mixtape. So like in the middle of the process, this one and it came together so fast. Like I kind of the the main melody of the beat came into my head and I was like, oh, let's just make a type beat. So I just made a type beat for it. And then I was like, uh, we can do we could do a little bit better than a type beat. So I made a different type beat. (laughs) <laughs> and it's just it's just a being between two type beats and then i wrote i wrote the entire song on the walk from my bedroom to the toilet <laughs> after after writing yeah. after making the beat and it just it came together the fastest out of all of the tracks on the mm, record yeah and i kind of i made it very quickly and was like oh maybe this isn't maybe this isn't i didn't spend enough time on this for, for it to be like artful or good mm. and then i came back a couple of months later and was like this is this, it's banger. the one it, right. it's the one like it's this it's so direct mm-hmm. it's uh, it encompasses sort of like all of the things that i'm trying to communicate on this on the record right like the bad behavior <laughs> um and the nighttime vibes and the experimentalism on the on the production side but it's i feel like it's really really accessible mm-hmm. and immediate right. and not like it doesn't keep people out mm. um so it's weird it's weird as hell <laughs> but like it's you maybe even don't even think about how weird it is because it's so fun. It is a fun track. <laughs> it is such a beautiful track. And that's yeah. so awesome to hear. Excuse me. Ooh, y'all, I have some, uh, some mimosas it's, it's in mimosas. here. Yeah. Them's yeah. The mimosas coming out. Um, shout out again to Oyun and the, the bar and the cafe and yeah. Abadan and everything. Like y'all are phenomenal. So thank you again for providing us with this space. Yeah, it's delicious. Um, it's delicious, right? It's so good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm so happy like you're telling us the story of this track. I am so excited. And in your best radio voice, we're going to ask you to introduce this track. I had the opportunity of doing some nasty things <laughs> for this video. 
I mean, I wouldn't, not nasty in a bad way, but nasty, uh, like sexy. Uh, and uh, yeah, and um, <laughs> it was very fun. And so I'm so happy that you had me on that or had me likewise, uh, in the video. Likewise, you came through. Yeah, I did. I, did. <laughs> I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have been called to do a job and I'm here to do it. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so we were going to ask you to just introduce this track in your best radio voice. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, I'm Gozi. And you're listening to Boyfriend, my song, Boyfriend, on the Berlin Radio Show. B -b -b Boyfriend, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. How do, it took yeah. so many years to perfect the yes. It's, it's, yeah, it's a delicate art. You've got to get enough it. air into it. <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. You see, we get to hear a little bit of the process. <laughs> yeah. These are the sounds your neighbors are hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. really me just going like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Until I get the perfect. Oh, we perfect love it. Yeah. I love the future approach. Thank like you. I can, yeah. I can really you. see that. Yeah, so right. The video like is going to be cool. The production sounds futuristic yeah. as fuck. You did that by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just me in my bedroom and Crazy a laptop work. and a crack of Ableton Live. Also, hey. Ableton, if you would like to give me, <laughs> I'd love it. I am so broke. <laughs> I'm so broke and I've wanted your software for such a long time. Oh my God. And I need it, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm yeah. loving it. Call out everything that you need, that you want, yeah. that you desire. Manifest. Call it manifest. It. Mm. Let's go. Um, so the video. Yeah. The music video. The video Actually, we're going to get into that a little bit later. Okay. okay. <laughs> Let's talk about who is your fashion icon. Oh. Ooh. Can I have just just one? Because no, I got a lot. I'm a I'm a fashion boy. I really I love me some clothes. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to start. Like, oh, mm, okay, it's just like off the dome in terms of like designers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> but Iris Van Herpenden, I think is her name. Um, okay. She used to work for me. Oh, Alexander McQueen. Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> what a what a legend. Um, yeah, and Iris. Um, who else? Uh, Dennis Rodman, um, just did some crazy yeah. gender bending things. Yes. I love like, Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Some mm -hmm. really amazing stuff. Um, who, Doja Cat. Mm -hmm. Doja Cat's crushing it. She is. Crushing it. Doja like, is phenomenal. Yeah. From the makeup to the clothes to like yeah. the entire conceptual arrangement of things. That's someone that I'm really, really pulling from at the moment. And I'm right. trying to like adapt that for a male Mm -hmm. Or like AMAB body, right? Because um, like, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's rad. Uh, and I listened to Blazy this morning, and yeah. Blazy said Riri, and I was like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> also Riri, also Riri. You know, right, 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 like right. that whole like Swarovski crystal, right? Dress moment right. where mm -hmm. she's like, "Are my tits bothering me?" Yes, yeah, huge vibe, huge right. vibe. This is this is the wave I'm on at the moment, yeah. um, and I'll be showing some tits on Instagram soon. Yeah. So yeah. we'll see if Instagram takes it down or not. But I think the trick is to just keep posting them until they <laughs> ban you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right. if that's what you want. I right. don't know. <laughs> I love it. So we'll be seeing um, lots of tits on, on Instagram. Um, yes, but hey. Gozi, I find you to be such a funny, bold, like brazen person. Like, <laughs> how did you become who you are now? Uh, um, interesting. Um. I gotta say, like, I think one of the, like my proudest creations has been myself mm. and my personality. Um, like, I yeah, I've I've always been like a version of this self, but like, yeah, I'm not also someone that society is particularly keen to support, mm. and so I got bullied a lot, mm. and I moved like a bunch of schools. And yeah, growing up was really, really hard for me, actually. Um, and it took, actually, it was it was really just like developing Gozi as a concept, as a character, as someone to like become as an idealized version of myself that right. like got me to this where I feel like really, really comfortable and really, really happy and really, really proud of myself. Right. 
Uh, oh, I'm getting emotional. Mm, uh. okay. <laughs> Please feel free to get emotional in here. Yeah. We, it's all love. It's all family. Like we yeah. are here to support you, 100, and we got you. So please you. feel free Thank to you. to be free, and I think yeah. our community as well will be very happy to support you and show you so much love. And Thank you. it's important for people to hear your story as well, yeah. because I think a lot of people go through these things that we have been through, oh, and they don't know how to kind of say this. Yeah. And so hearing someone like you, someone like me, someone like Luke, um, you know, telling our stories. Um, is very important so please feel free to get emotional or as sure. emotional as you would like yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah now you're gonna regret that i'm just gonna sob into your microphone it's fine. and, just and i'll the come whole in, and i'll come and hug you and cry with you yeah. because i'm a cancer and that's what we do <laughs> oh we've done this already i'm a cancer too yes! yeah <laughs> yes so squishy <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah i yeah i and it's also like moving to Berlin, actually. Right. Like it's just such an open-minded place. Yeah. A little bit monocultural. Could yeah. be more diverse. Yeah. But like in terms of like my personal identity, it was like I came here and suddenly like I was just surrounded by validation. Right. People who could appreciate me mm -hmm. for being me. And it really, it changed my life. Yeah. And that's, that's beautiful. That's how we are. And therapy. Also therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> therapy yes. did a lot. Yes. Like I encourage people all the time. Go to therapy. Yeah. Yeah, invest yeah, yeah, in yeah. yourself. I know people out there want to buy clothes and shoes and jewelry no. and all the fancy things, but that will not help your mental nope. health. No, 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 no. Please go and seek a therapist if you are going through things. It is very important and it's very helpful. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so vulnerable with us and sharing that part of you. Um, we are so I'm so excited to have you here. I knew I loved you for a reason <laughs> because we're both Cancerians. Yeah, like, I'm in love with you. Immediate I think connection. You, you had me question my sexuality a little bit on uh, on that video shoot. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, um, Cassian, are you just attracted to you know you know one different type of person <laughs> or maybe? <laughs> Uh, but that we're gonna get into that video later yeah um, but that's very much my mo yeah like just like universally sexy is what we're going Ooh, for like i, I don't care what you think your sexual orientation is you haven't <laughs> met me <laughs> period so shut the fuck up period and come through period <laughs> that is why we stay on here okay <laughs> um so the next question is what artist dead or alive um, and you had no limitations at all. Yeah. Would you do a feature or a song with? Okay. So I have two answers for this. Um, so first one is the producer Sophie, who passed um, super sadly like mm. a year ago. Um, actually, like one of my life goals and ambitions was to make a record with her. Mm. And I'm kind of just devastated that I will never get that opportunity. Um, right. Like I was making sort of like difficult to listen to very overly serious art pop because I thought that was the only thing that like if I wanted to make experimental music it had to be like painfully serious and a little bit boring mm -hmm. and Sophie uh and the whole of PC music but specifically Sophie because she very much pioneered that sound was like it changed my perspective on what experimental pop music could be you know right. that her stuff is like very weird and very abrasive and very strange and so fucking fun mm. and and i mean that, that was why the electronic music community was so angry when they released that stuff because they were like you can't call this experimental if mm. like 15 year old girls can like it right you know and it really like it really combats the uh misogyny within electronic music to be mm. like anything that young women like is bad right and sophie was like fuck that right <laughs> we're gonna make fun and it really it just completely changed my career trajectory right um it's so crazy because you know that's the narrative that's pushed but at the same time it's the 15 year old girls who do make these pop stars who run the music who industry run the they music run <laughs> the music industry <laughs> right yeah right so it's, it's more like, a fear of them so to it's be like honest. right so it's like okay don't make music for them but then at the same time they're the ones that run the industry so we have to market the music that we make to them but this music is not really made for them what yeah. are you talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like what are you talking yeah. about so it's kind of uh the, the music industry is a weird place and um so i think weird. it's it's very uh it's a very strange thing to navigate and i think that 
the artists that I'm around and artists that I'm I'm able to witness grow into the music industry, I realize that like a lot of people are in tune to what is happening in the mus- music yeah. industry and are kind of trying to do things to prevent what's Absolutely. been happening. And I think that's beautiful. And I hope that everybody that I know makes it because mm-hmm. um, we will be the ones to change it. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I feel like people can't be manipulated and told what to do. And I mm. love that aspect of yeah. of the artistry that i've been witnessing and seeing and so that has been a beautiful thing so thank you for that um yeah. but yeah i love it i love i yeah. love the music and yeah yes yeah, so continue sorry you said oh, sophie is one yeah, person sophie and is then one and then bad bunny <laughs> nice i yeah uh, i really I, I mean i think we all love bad bunny I, he's like yeah the perfect pop star yeah like <laughs> he's just he's cool he's like brave and like passionate and like loving and like so supportive of communities um he's just like he's just a fucking good guy yeah he's a good guy and he makes cool music and he goes "Eh." (laughs) everyone's like yes so yeah i really i really want to like mix the the bad bunny "Eh," with the ghosty yeah and see what happens (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah yeah. i actually i've actually already written a song for him oh i love it it's called poquito and it's filthy. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Bad Bunny, you heard it here. It's called Puquito. This is another clip we're going to need because I'm going <laughs> to post it as a reel and tag Bad Bunny in it so that hopefully he sees it and this will be a thing. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm just like Call directing. Me Bad Bunny. <laughs> Call me. I'm just like directing Kayo. Kayo sit on the couch <laughs> like, oh, okay, whatever you say. Um, cool. That's beautiful. Any other artists that you would like to work with or i mean riri was always up there but i think her time in music is over and i right. think i'm really supportive of that yes to be honest. same same tyler the creator Yo, i'd love to see what would top. happen there yeah charlie xcx but i'm kind of actually scared because <laughs> i idolize her so much mm-hmm. i don't i think i would just fuck it up I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm just like too scared oh and uh i have also another song that's already written it was written specifically for dizzy rascal okay so dizzy rascal hit me up when all right comes. so we need those two dizzy yeah. rascal and, and bad bunny, bad bunny. yeah all i right. have songs for you i have songs for you and they're great yes so good <laughs> Call it here. I love it. okay we love it we love to see this we love it we love it love it um if you could no we yes actually yeah yeah, I was going to ask, like, I don't know. I don't know if I should, because you've been already describing your music and telling us, mm-hmm. you know, who Gozi is and what your music is like and who it's for. So I don't know if I should ask you this question, actually, but I think I will still yeah. to make it just like a point. So if you could describe your music to someone who has never listened to you or heard you before, how would you describe it? Uh. <sighs> uh sexy edgy fun Mm. love it yeah that's it for now i love it for this era the the next era i'll give you three more words three more words okay (laughs) we love it sexy edgy fun so that's seth seth (laughs) (laughs) my name is seth music <laughs> yeah. my label. That's the nerd coming out of you. Chef? <laughs> That's the <a> total, <laughs> total <laughs> <geek>. <laughs> That's a total geek coming out. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. So we heard your track Boyfriend earlier. Yeah. And it's going to be your next single coming yes. out. When is it going to be released? Can you tell the people? <laughs> We don't know. That is a great question for someone else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the future management team. Yeah, future yeah. management team, the director of my music video. Right, 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 right. I have a deadline. He has a deadline. Right. We'll see who wins the fight. It's okay. probably him. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, April is what we're hoping for. Some okay. point in April. Love uh, it. No later than April, to love be perfectly it. honest, because I've got shit to do. Right. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, Okay, so let's get into this music video because we've been yeah, teasing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since you came into the studio, what was because you, you expressed a little bit like you know being on set, it was like oh my god, my yeah. song is being turned into like this beautiful yeah. visual, and everything turned out perfectly. And what <sighs> was it like? <sighs> how, how do I even ask this question? Like when you were standing there on set, was there a moment that you were like? yo i'm an actual musician 
Like, was there a moment on the set where you're like, yo, I'm an actual musician? And then tell us the idea behind, though, without yeah. revealing too much. Yeah, sure. The hi- sure. idea behind the boyfriend yeah. music video. Um, so, first question, there, there wasn't a moment on right. set. I think, I think the moment that I had on set was like, I don't feel any anxiety. Mm. I don't feel any stress. I don't feel like I'm pushing. I don't feel like I'm trying. Right. I'm just being, being. and mm. oh shit, this is who I am. Right. That's what I was feeling. Beautiful. Like this is just me. Yeah. And you know, like I, yeah, there were, I took a ton of risks for this project. Like yeah. I was doing a lot of things that I'd never done before. Mm. More makeup looks than I've ever done before. A new stylist who was really pushing me. Um, like out of my comfort zone choreography, which I've never done on video before. Um, and also and you like, killed it. Thank you. Let me just say, <laughs> I was sitting there like, okay, yeah. I see you. Yes. Yeah. And also it's like much sexier than anything I've ever done before. And I've always right. been kind of like afraid of like th- that. That's who I am mm-hmm. when I'm in my bedroom by myself. Like right. That's what I do in front the of the cancer. mirror. Yeah, absolutely. It's al- it always starts in the bedroom. <laughs> it always does. starts in my room. <laughs> if I'm lonely, I go hang out with the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I am here with you. You know, and that's like it was it was a moment of like being on set like ten hours in, not tired, mm. six hours sleep, one meal, not right. tired. Right. Like this is so natural. Mm. Yeah, this is who I am and, and and it's just up from here. Right. Like, yeah. That I love sad. that. That was so beautiful. Um, but, oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just because, like, being able to see you in that as well. Like, I could yeah. see, like, I could see it. You know, you were very comfortable and just yeah. like, yeah, let's get this done. And yeah. it was, it was a beautiful, beautiful thing to witness. Um, You're definitely getting the people hyped out there because now yeah. I'm hyped. I was. <laughs> <laughs> what the the fuck video have you been is up to? Oh, it's hype. It's, it's hype. hype. That's the point. It's hype. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clothing, everything was just. It's so beautiful and retro and. And like, you know, as you were saying that you are supposed to be someone that's going to be acting in um, in uh, euphoria. And yeah. it was just it's euphoric. <laughs> that's it. It's euphoric. It's a elated. It's, it's a music video that's just takes you to a place of elation. And I think, yeah. Anyway, I'll, <laughs> let, I'll, let, I'll let Gozi speak on that. Um, so please tell yeah. us about like the, the vision or the idea behind behind the boyfriend yeah. music video. So um the song and the story in the song is like it, it's a very clear narrative it's about um adultery <laughs> and how i'm really very okay with it <laughs> or at least like facilitating it <laughs> uh yeah so like it's got a very clear narrative mm-hmm. and we kind of wanted to like take a step away from that and make something a little bit more um metaphorical right and like to sort of inform the wider world of Gozi, because there's a there's a concept that I won't tell you about, but like Gozi <laughs> is a character, and there right. is, it has its own like there's a lot of world building that is to come. Love it. Um, and so like the video is like the beginning of that world building, and so like it starts off in sort of like a where you would think the song starts, and then it gets increasingly surreal and dark, mm. um, and uh crazy <laughs> I, got, I got on a car i got on top of a car um, <laughs> we love a car moment we love a car that was like this that was, was very CC. clear in my mind that this was one is, of the first things i was like i want to get on a car right um, this is uh the cc moment uh is it good yeah. was it goodies no not goodies where she was on top of the car with um ludicrous yeah that track where she was on the car and like doing her thing like crawling up dun, 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 yeah dun, that one yeah my, i mean cc. my thing is like a lot less fun than the cc one mine was more like (laughs) monster climbing up the hood of your car to like eat you alive but um but like sexy Uh, sexy Uh, monster about to eat you alive that's that's very much my vibe (laughs) (laughs) like hold yourself i love it for the fear and also the arousal oh my i hope my mom doesn't listen to this She's already been warned. We had a conversation like yesterday where I was like, mom, just, I mean, I know you're proud of me. Thank you so much. I love you. Um, just to let you know, grandma can't see this. <laughs> and it's just raunchier from here on out. Just so you know. And she was like, I read the lyrics, Rowan. I know. <laughs> I know. And I'm just going to have to deal with this. So, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love there's like warning. Warning. Mm. Not for parents. Absolutely. Not Absolutely. for parental units. You know, it's, it's like parental, parental advisory. Yeah. Yeah. It's like parental not advised. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The parental advisory sticker is not for kids. The kids, the, right. they know. The kids are watching Euphoria. They know what's going on. It's for their parents. Right. They, sh- you don't need to know. What you got up to was just as shocking when you were our age. Right. Like, shh, <laughs> go and go and watch EastEnders or something. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so my last, like, kind of like deeper question for you today is. Where is Gozi heading? Where is your career <laughs> going to? Without revealing too much, obviously, because we want to stay silent and built, you know. Yeah. But where do you? Where are you planning to take your career? As high as humanly possible. Mm. Um, I can see a couple of like really commercial records going forwards for the next couple of years because there's only so long that I'm going to want to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, we're we're aiming for stadiums, hey. like Period. two, three stadium tours, yes. and then I'll go off and do something else, right. like more music. But I, I'm really interested in like pushing culture mm-hmm. forwards, yeah. And I think the best way to do that is from a point of being pop culture, yeah, like actually being pop culture, right? And being able to like influence others and like, like I want people to copy me. I yeah. want to be at that point, if you, yeah. right? If you ever make that stadium to happen, take me as a opening act. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Absolutely. Come on, plug. Okay. <laughs> we we got into existence. You know, yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not gonna go do act, acting or some stuff after and like do music for life and all mm-hmm. that. So like I I'll have some more time for my own stadium tours. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love this. So before Please we go do. to the next track that you brought for us today, yeah. I wanted to ask a question that we always ask everybody. If you had the opportunity, again, no limitations, mm-hmm. no limits on money, no limits on where it could be, no limits on anything. You could just have everything. Like you were Beyonce, okay? Yeah. And you could have everything you want and you had the opportunity to create like a gozy concert. Yeah. Right. What, who, who would you want to be your opening act, mm-hmm. for one? Where would you want this concert to be and what kind of aspects would you want to have? Yeah. In this concert um so i would love like live aid era queen to open for me who is sorry like queen queen okay Ooh. but like live aid era right so like when freddie mercury is like right at the the height of his, his powers pro- yes oh i love um, that he's a huge hero of i me. love freddie mercury Adore that man. like the voice yeah the showmanship the voice. The voice. <laughs> yeah. Again. The, the voice. voice. <laughs> 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 love it. Love it. Love it. Um. Yeah. Uh. Doja Cat. Mm. Just like performer of a generation. Right. Performer of a generation. She's amazing. She's just unreal. Mm-hmm. Um. And you know what? I'm a drag Frank Ocean out. Hey, out of you know? hiding <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but like channel orange era no 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 no. nostalgia ultra era frank mm. ocean when he still enjoyed playing live right because something changed at channel orange where he was like i actually hate this oh no <laughs> and he like stopped enjoying it yeah um but yeah Ch- uh, nostalgia ultra era frank ocean right um and i would say i want wembley stadium just because mm. i'm from the uk yeah um and i would have a circular stage in the middle of the stadium instead of it being on one end. One side. Because I actually, mm-hmm. I kind of really hate stadium shows. I yeah. feel like they're just set it's up to serve as many people as possible in like the most convenient way possible. Right. And I think you need to really work to make them yeah. a valuable audience experience. Right, right. And so I think like a big, enormous circular stage in the middle of the of Love the it. arena. And then like, I mean, I did like Kanye's floating stage mm. thing for the Yeezus tour as well. Right. And like, you know, like just really try and find multiple ways of like Serving communicating the with the entire right. stadium. Right. Like, yeah. And yeah, I just I want to jump out of stages and yeah. shit and like so much choreo, so much choreo, <laughs> so many dance breaks, like I seven costume it. changes. Ooh, I, I love, love a costume change. <laughs> we love a costume change. Love it. So you heard it here first on the Berlin Radio Show. We are going to jump into the next some track. Visionary that, shit. Right. Some visionary shit. We're trying. We're trying. We're going to jump <laughs> into the next track that Gozi brought to us today. And uh, can you introduce this one to us? And then we're going to take a quick break as mm. the song plays and then come back right to you. Hi, this is Gozi on the Berlin Radio Show, and right now, Prince wants your kiss. Ain't no better kill a sad 
get back to bed or boo I just want your extra time and y'all. Period. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love it. So we have two minutes left on Woo. the show. Um, so here you get to plug everything and anything you want to plug and tell the people where they can find you, how they can get your music, all of it. Do it. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hello, hi, hi. My name is Gozi. Follow me on Instagram at Gozi Forever. Um, I have a single coming out soon, so you need to stay tuned for that. I have a record coming out soon, which is honestly going to change your life. So stay tuned for that. Instagram.com <laughs> forward slash Gozi Forever is my main channel. Um, and yeah, come get it because you'll regret not doing it. Ooh, you heard it here <laughs> on the Berlin Radio Show. Luke, are you going to take us out? Yeah, why not? We still have some time. <laughs> what yeah. are we doing? What are we doing? What, what do you mean? What are we doing? Yeah, we're we gonna just send going to send the people off to All the right. weekend. Okay. Like, to do the you want to send Sunday and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. right. Okay, Gozi, do you want to send the people off into yeah. the weekend? Um, thank you all for tuning in. Um, you're all so cute. <laughs> I love you. Uh, the team love you. Um, and the sun is shining. So clearly, whatever is up there loves you too. Go get some sunshine. Enjoy your sun Sunday. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. TBRS. TBRS. The Berlin Radio Show. Sunday's finest selection. Candid talks. Up close and personal.